Hello, welcome. Hi. Okay, let's try it again. Hello, welcome. Hi. Oh yeah, that's that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so my name is Shalimar, and I work for Moodle, and I'm really excited to have some space away from our screens, no pressure, but screens can go away because we are gonna do something very tactile. We're gonna play a board game together. Yeah. Okay, yeah, applause for that, sure, yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna go through, you have instructions at your table and you've likely already started reading them. I'm just gonna take you through a few basics of the game and then we're just gonna jump right in. If you're joining late, if you're joining late, just join a table. Uh, try to join one that has a fewer amount of players. If your table is already pretty packed, you know, it's going to take you a little bit longer. It's fine. All right, so on your table, you have a, a board. It should remind you of Clue or Cluedo, right? And we have a mystery to solve. Moodle has gone down. Oh my gosh. We have to figure out who done it. So it's really important that you do not read the cards in your little baggie until you, it's appropriate to do so when you draw them. Okay, so your board, oh, you know what? Can I have the, can I have the other mic? So the board has rooms which can be entered through doors. And um, it also has checkered spaces. So basically, the person that's gonna go first is the person who has attended the most Moodle moots at your table. They're gonna roll the die and move their player piece out of the reception room towards their destination. Now you wanna go to rooms because it's only when you end your turn in a room that you can pull a clue card. Those are the blue ones with the people faces on them. If you end your turn on a black or white space, you pull a trouble card and follow the instructions on the trouble card. Now here's the thing. The trouble cards don't relate to our main mystery. They're just discussion starters, things to get conversation going around the table. Our main goal, other than winning, is to make connections. It's the first day of the moot. We want to see what people are doing, how they're doing the work that they do with Moodle. So those black cards are all about discussions. Once your table has drawn five clue cards, you can form a hypothesis. If your table wants to form a hypothesis, have everybody raise their hand and myself or one of our moderators will come to the table and see if you figured out the mystery. If you did, you'll win. And I have prizes. Don't get your hopes up, they're not that great. Um, so yeah, that's basically how to play. If you have a question, if I've not been clear, there are instructions, or you can raise your hand and I'll come around and answer your questions. Is everybody ready to go? Then get after it, y'all. Okay, everyone, we have a team. In case you couldn't tell by that applause and hooting, we have a team that won. This doesn't mean that you need to stop, keep playing your game, but they're getting the prize. <laughs> they successfully solved the mystery. Now, the prize is not huge, but it is a badge to let everybody know that you solved the moot mystery. Now I have enough badges for one more table, so you guys better hurry up. <laughs> These badges are going quick. We've got another table that's found the solution. Okay, everybody, 
I think every table has now had a tested hypothesis or a win. Uh, as we get ready to transition to our next set of sessions, I just want you to know that if you want the game, if you want to take the game with you, you're welcome to. You can also email me if you want the digital files that I use to make the games. I manage Moodle US's support team, and we train our new teammates in support with games like this one all the time. So if you work in support or if you have a teammate who you think might really like this concept to inspire you to make fun uh, Moodle support training options for them, I encourage you to take this with you. We have scissors so we can cut the tape to keep uh, the board stuff backpack size. Um, thank you so much for playing. Hope you had fun.